Wow, welcome Cancers, welcome, welcome. What a wonderful, powerful week, Cancers, uh, season for you. All right, Cancers, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. And um, thank you so much for being here. All right, we have the Aries season. The Aries season begins um, March 21st to April 19. All righty. All right, Cancer, this is good. This is powerful. You have all major O'Connors. So, Cancer, this is looking really, really wonderful. So, Cancers, what we're seeing here for this Aries season in business, money, and wealth um, we are seeing that some sort of a secrecy is going to be coming out. So we have the energy of the eye princess, some sort of a secret is coming out at the workplace. Then we see some sort of a judgment call over some sort of a contract that some of you cancers have. But I see at the end, some sort of a success will be here for some of you cancer. So if some of you cancers were having some sort of a situation where you were trying to balance out whether or not your contract is going to be extended or there was um organization in a corporation institution um however this is coming up and however this is affecting you what is going to be transpiring is that in the last week i see that you're going to be successfully overcoming um this uh, situation okay so you will uh, whoever is thinking whether or not your contract is going to be extended yes 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 it will be extended um under the ring there is the energy of success all right so um, you know, you cancers that was worrying about your contract, look at the energy under the ring that will tell you whether or not your contract is going to be extended. All right, cancers. I love this for you guys, all major arcanas, and they are all in the upright position. So let's look and go in a this reading so we are looking at the first week the first week is uh, um, the week from the 21st of march until the 28th you are dealing with the energy of the eye princess and we all know what is the energy of the eye princess the energy of the high princess has to do with some sort of information that you um cancers have kept or something that you cancers have done it's going to be coming out okay so when we think about the eye princess, we think of the moon and the moon is about secrecy. Okay. And some of you can say it's about your intuition. Um, so it's about the intuition and secrecy. So some of you will be dealing with your intuition was correct. Some sort of a thing, some sort of an intuition that you have that is going to be coming out. Um, correct. And some of you, some sort of a secrecy that you hold will be revealed because right behind it, it is the energy of judgment. So a lot of you score um, cancers that has done something in the past against um, someone at the workplace or someone who used to work in a company or someone or some sort of a secrecy that you hold about someone um, a, a colleague or something that you did against a colleague or a colleague who have left uh, is going to be really revealing your secrets. Whatever secrets that you cancers have and you cancers have some sort of a secret that you were old in, whether it's something that was private or something in the work environment, it is going to be coming out. So you kind of be aware of this. So whatever you cancers have done in the past, some sort of information is going to be coming out that is going to be revealing the secrets and i see in this week of march 21st to march 28th is a lot of situation where a lot of you your intuition you're going to be recognizing that your intuition was right on track so some of you had some sort of an information and about your intuition and you're going to be recognizing oh my god my intuition was right on track so that is going to be good a lot of you are going to be dealing with the energy of the pisces and this energy of the Pisces, a Pisces is going to be bringing out some of you um, uh, secrets. So some of you secrets is going to be um, lacked by a Pisces. Okay, so um, cancers, be aware. Don't, you know, whatever it is, be aware because a Pisces is going to be letting out all of your secrets. So um, some of you are going to be dealing with some sort of issues with a Pisces in this week. Okay, and 
it's about the Pisces. It's about your intuition that some of you are going to be recognizing you are right on track with your intuition, but it's about secrecy, your secret, something that you have done, some fault that you had done in the past is coming out um, or something that you have done in the past against a co-worker or in another company. They're going to be recognizing this. Then we look at the second week. The second week is another water energy. And the second week is another major and water energy. And the second week is about breakthroughs, breakthroughs, information. Is it going to be positive or negative? It depends on what happened the week before. So this week of the 29th until the 4th, some sort of information is going to be coming out, which is going to be bringing a Pluto moment. And a Pluto moment is about breakdowns. A Pluto moment is about the time when a scorpion is going to be bringing out something. So when we think of um, judgment, it's about breakthroughs, it's about information, and a scorpion is going to be bringing out some sort of a information. It's a Pluto energy, and the scorpion is being run by Pluto. Pluto um, governs the scorpion. So a scorpion is going to be bringing out and, and uh, um, could be bringing out some sort of a information that people were not aware of. So information and is going to be coming out about a, a scorpion or a scorpion is going to be bringing out some sort of a information. So expect that to happen. So when we think of judgment is information that was kept information that was old and kept. So it could be some of you. Whatever this information is, uh, is going to be coming out now because Pluto decided that, uh, hey, um, you know, it's a long time that this uh, this uh, situation has been going on. It is now time that we bring out the situation. Pluto is about revealing. OK, Pluto is about uh, the energy of the scorpions. The scorpions are always letting you know who is your enemy. And Pluto energy is about uh, a secret contract, secret contract that was created is going to be coming out. People are going to be recognizing that there was some sort of a secret contract. So they're going to be looking at you um, cancers. And if you cancers came in a corporation on the, some sort of a secret deal, it is going to be showing up now. Okay. So if someone got you in um, some sort of organization under some sort of a contract, they're going to be finding out about it because um, this this Pluto energy is that as um, the secret contract is going to be coming out. So when we think about Pluto, we're thinking about stripping. Okay, so we're stripping, we're opening up information where because um, there was some sort of a secret and. It's as if a judgment call is coming out to bring out information, some sort of a secrecy. So you, you think about a scorpion. A scorpion is going, because the house, the eight house is about contract. Okay, the eight house is about contract. And the scorpion is in the eight house. And that is a Pluto energy. And whenever Pluto is in retrograde, because Pluto is waiting, a waiting house like a colon of the condolina. Um, so, is as if a lot of you had some sort of a secret contract, how you got in some sort of an organization, whether your work permit was good or someone secretly got you in a corporation on their false pretend, that is going to be coming out. So whatever secret contract that was there, Pluto, or it's going to be bringing this out. This is a Pluto energy. And if Pluto is in your birth chart, it is going to be showing up what you were holding back, or the secrets you were holding back, okay? And, you know, what you were thinking and what was going on in secrecy, okay? And this could be um, very a loss. You could lose something because of um, Pluto coming in or a scorpion is going to be, but this is more as Pluto energy that uh, some sort of information is going to be coming out, some sort of a secrets that you cancers had is now going to be coming out, all right? And this secret and information that was, uh, is about secret contract because right there, you're seeing the energy of the lovers, the energy of the lover is about secret contract that you cancers had created. It's now going to be coming up. 
So, you know, ladies and gentlemen, we got to recognize and, yeah, and, and we got to understand what is happening and what is transpiring. All right, we're moving on um, to the third week, the week of the 5th until the 11th. Remember, if you'd like a personalized reading, um, this business channel is for whoever. If you're taking on someone, you can send a picture or you can do a video call and we can discuss it. You can send me the name of the people. Um, you know, if you're doing reorganization and that sort of a thing. All right, let's move on. And we're moving on to the energy of contracts, lovers. And the energy of the lover is about partnerships and contracts, okay? And some of you cancer, some sort of a secrecy of some sort of a secret contract that you had with a Gemini is going to be coming out. Why you connected with a Gemini? They're going to be now recognizing why you have con con connected with a Gemini and how you got to meet a Gemini, some sort of a secrecy or some sort of a problem where this energy of the Gemini is going to be finding out that you have some sort of a secrecy that was held against them. Okay, so um, a Gemini, which could be a personal officer, is going to be finding out a whole lot of secrets. So, now, the energy of the lovers is always Venus. Okay, the energy of the lovers is always Venus. And Venus is about uh, some sort of a conflicting moment where a contract, whatever it is with a contract, they're going to be recognizing some sort of a secrecy of how some of you got in a company or organization, institution, or some sort of a secret contract um, that some of you have created. A Gemini is going to be finding out or is going to be revealing this. And they're going to be recognizing that some of you use a Gemini in order to cooperate and get into some sort of a corporation institution or the information of a Gemini. But whoever this Gemini is, it's like people in authority that is going to be checking out a situation and recognize that you, um, cancers could have held some sort of a secrecy. And it is all about how you get in a corporation institution who got you in this corporation institution and I see information is going to be coming out about it because the eighth house is about secrecy and you recognize that this Pluto um, energy came in to release something and let people be aware of something. So there is some sort of a secret contract that some of you cancers had created in the past so that is going to be showing up and affecting you now in the future. And this is why we need to recognize um, and that every time that we have some sort of a secrecy that we held, this secrecy always come out because we are dealing with karmas and uh, destiny, okay? And, um, you know, this energy of Gemini is about communication, and partnership is about you, Cancers, and the Gemini, okay? So it's the sword. It's the energy of the war of the swords. So as we recognize is that the root of everything, of some sort of a secret contract, is now going to be coming out. And I see a lot of you are going to be dealing with the third house of um, your perception of the world and how people are going to be looking at you, finding out that some of you had some sort of a secret contract or created some sort of a secret contract, or you're going to be finding out about a secret contract of a Gemini or vice versa. So that is going to be a situation that is going to be transparent because people are going to be investigating because the energy of the Gemini is about investigating and finding out that there was some sort of a secret contract of you cancers getting in a corporation institution. Then we're looking at the energy of the star and the energy of the star is a, a beautiful energy and the energy of the star is about wishes and dreams. So. So a lot of you who were having some sort of a problems or um, was looking for a job or hoping for some sort of a new agreement to come in, it's going to be a yes. But for some of you, it's going to be the energy of the Aquarian. Where the energy of the Aquarian, an investigation is a contract is now being under investigation. And this contract, it could be work permit, documentation, contracts that was created by you cancers are now on the investigation because something, some sort of a mishap 
could come in and they're going to be recognizing that some of you cancers had created some sort of a secret contract and they're going to be now um, digging deep so aquarian um the, the star is the energy of the aquarian and this is energy of investigation and this investigation of some sort of a contract and you see the energy on the, the the ring is that some sort of a contract is going to be investigated that you cancers have created in the past so then we see um a lot of you who had applied for a job um and you're waiting for a contract you're hoping for it yes it's going to be coming out but cancers who have created some sort of a secret contract in the past or got some sort of a secret contract got some sort of a secret permit to work permit that did not go to the correct channel it is all going to be coming out all right ladies and gentlemen this um i gotta move forward use the link below in order to choose Whichever from the crystal, whichever from the, the symbol that is here, use the link below. You can choose the link below and it will take you um, to the next level in order for you to see what is going to be coming up and how can you resolve these issues. I do love you guys. Thank you for being here. I gotta go. Namaste. Yeah.